This video is going to be about Robert Merton's five individual modes of adaptation and his strain anomie theory. Okay. To give context to these five modes, we'll discuss uh, <laughs> Merton's uh, addition to Emil Durkheim's strain theory. Now, the theory says that humans are inherently goal-seeking creatures. We strive to achieve our goals, and then we're denied legitimate means to achieve them we're placed under a strain and we cope with this strain in five different ways. The first way is conformity. Conformists make up the backbone of American society. They accept cultural goals and legitimate means to achieve them. These are people that go to college, get a high paying job, buy a house, buy a car, a whole nine yards, or an immigrant from China who comes to open a restaurant and earn enough money to send his kids to college and live comfortably. Or homesteaders who've moved across the country in the hope of a better life and making it rich with a farm or finding gold. Um, in more modern times, we have businessmen like Bill Gates who rose from a humble middle-class background to become one of the richest men alive. And then we have innovators who are similar to conformists and that they accept society's cultural goals, but reject uh, the legitimate means to achieve them. And these are the people you think of as the classic criminals, drug dealers, um, sellers of counterfeit goods like Rolex watches and Prada handbags. You find these people on the streets of New York or up in high rises like Bernie Madoff, when his investments were revealed as Ponzi schemes, he costs the global economy billions of dollars. Uh, moving on, we have ritualists who don't accept society's cultural goals, but accept the legitimate means of achieving them. Uh, like people who go through the motions of life, knowing they won't make it big, but they're okay with just getting by. Like Virginia coal workers who know they'll be stuck in the same job until they retire, but it puts food on the table or a bureaucrat in an office who focuses on the rules, often at the cost of efficiency, because he knows he'll never get that promotion. Um, the, or a, a local store owner who knows he can't compete with a national chain, but he operates anyway because it's a family business. So the fourth one is retreatism, and they do not accept society's cultural goals nor do they accept the legitimate means of achieving them. So these people generally are the ones who give up on achieving, achieving what society would consider success, and instead they focus on doing whatever take, it takes to get by, regardless of the laws. So one example would be a homeless person who lives on the streets. They're rejecting society's cultural goals of um, being successful and that having a house and they steal food, steal food, steal money to afford food and the essentials they need to survive. So they're um, not accepting the legitimate means of achieving them. They're breaking the law to do it. Um, similar to that would be a heroin addict whose goal is simply to get more drugs and get high through any means necessary, regardless of whether or not it's legal. So they might rob a store or mug someone to obtain this money, whatever it takes. So the fifth and final one is rebellion. So just like the retreatists, they don't accept society's cultural goals or accept the legitimate means of achieving them. But more than that, they will replace the goals of society with new ones of their own. So one example would be the San Francisco hippies of the 1960s. So within San Francisco, they congregated in their own neighborhood, the hate, where they replaced society's goals of materialistic success and focused instead on communal living, free love, anti-war sentiments, and socialist ideas. Um, they also replaced society's norms of the typical police um, with the Hells Angels motorcycle gang who they look to as their source of authority instead. Um, another example would be the Amish people um, who they lived in their own communities. 
separate from the rest of American society. Um, they replaced the typical goals with um, Puritan ideals and they rejected modern technology and um, did their own thing. All right, that's our presentation. I hope it's been helpful.